So if you could live for ever, because we were talking about the transfusions, like, would you? Hmm. I would take, I'd go for like two or 300. And then decide or like? Yeah, probably. I mean, it. you know, you take it as you come. But um, I don't think I'd want to live forever. I mean, death, I want to experience death. That's like, e. that's the number one, like. Fear, number one unknown. No, I was going to say, it's the number one piece of the human experience that, being born and dying yeah, yeah, like that's so that's true. it yeah. that's the, the whole thing and so i wouldn't want to deprive myself of that but does your i would yeah, just keep going <laughs> uh, just i it. mean i just think it'd be so like interesting to see i'm yeah, yeah i would want to see a lot yeah I don't i'd know. want to stick I around think for I'd a while i'd be too tempted to know how crazy the ride would get you know how crazy humanity yeah. would be but eventually you probably get to a point where you say, you I know, know, one of my, my favorite quotes like you know? is in the movie Hook. Okay. And Hook says, like, death is the only adventure I have left. Dang. Over. Yeah. And it's like Been such there. a hard Seen line, it. you know, yeah. but it's like so well eventually you get to a point yeah. where death is the only adventure you have left. Mm. And you want to, you, I think you'd, you'd want to choose it, it's but really it nice. would be cool yeah. to get to a point medically where we choose our death. Like, hey, yeah, I'm I would 250, like that. I've seen it all, like, Cubs won the World Series, that's good enough for me. You want to be able to I'm use going. it if you want If you want it, no one tell me otherwise. I'm going out, if, you know? Wait, what's that? I mean, like, yes. you're right, it would be torturous if you could not. Oh, if you couldn't die. Never, yeah, yeah, if you, couldn't, yeah. if you could never die, it would get old. I would rather die at 80 than <laughs> live forever. How about, wow. like, dogs don't have the concept of death other animals besides humans don't have the concept so they're just li- they're just living you think Maybe, so i, th- I don't I, know i, don't know. I, I think mean they see proven. their offspring die they see people in their like right they see other animals die yeah. i don't think that's true you know but they're they're they didn't you know that's like the humans when we bit the oh, apple yeah. in the, the tree of knowledge like we are burdened with like that is our suffering that we have that knowledge Ourselves. we're gonna die we know ourselves. We have yeah. this ego, this sense of self. Yeah, but more like, and more, we're realizing that animals have these very similar thought processes and right. things happening. But, but do you think bears ever go like to another bear, like, man, like, aren't bears weird? No. Like, aren't we kind of weird? Like, I'm a bear. <laughs> like, but humans do that. They go like, dude, humans are fucking. We're so weird. But yeah, like, it's not that we're that much weirder than bears. Sense. It's that we have this elevated consciousness, which is sort of a burden. It is yeah. our. Yeah. burden it's our suffering like is that knowledge you ever see grizzly man yes great movie amazing you haven't seen it no it's worth watching it's right. worth watching this guy uh he may, like, may not get eaten but lives with grizzlies and like really he just loves them so much but eventually they eat him <laughs> soon as soon as he brings his woman there mm. brings his woman out to observe just... him a bit and he gets eaten wow um yeah just the consciousness of those grizzlies oh but like dolphins yeah can choose every breath is a fully conscious breath they don't have that like automatic breath if i try to pass like choke myself out i'll pass out and my body will start breathing again dolphins can just choose i'm done breathing i will die they can commit suicide they do it in captivity they don't do it like in the wild but they seem to be aware of something if that's the case if you can kill yourself right right. you know yeah i mean you know what was there was that mom orca who pushed around her dead calf for two mm. days up the california coast mm. i mean well you could definitely mourn but like that implies some yeah, understanding right. of permanence and you know loss grief like those are complicated emotions yeah and i think like evolutionarily mothers love and protect their young fathers too they, sometimes they, they yeah. eat them depends on the species <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. Like, shout out to seahorse dads what up <laughs> they give, um, give them birth. They right? raise the pups. They don't they, they, they give the birth them. to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They carry them. Just shoot them right out the belly, like <laughs> thousands. Yeah. <laughs>